Mahesh Jaraman, co-founder of Sepalika.com, the online clinic that helps reverse chronic disease naturally. I'm going to ask you to do a little experiment with me today. Imagine yourself as a hunter-gatherer living 10,000 years ago. While you're out looking for food, a tiger suddenly attacks you out of nowhere. You know that although you have a spear in your hand, the tiger is too big for you to fight, so your best chance of survival is to quickly escape the tiger by climbing the nearest tree. You begin to run. In the split second in which you make your decision, your entire body has responded. It shuts all non-essential functions like digestion and diverts the blood flow to your hands and to your feet to fight or to flight. But something has happened even before that, and that is the adrenal glands, which have pumped out a hormone called adrenaline in a split second, which has then rushed to your liver and demanded that sugar stored in the liver should be immediately dumped into your blood. Now, this is done to ensure that you have access to the sugar to create the energy that you need to run and climb the tree and escape from the tiger. Amazing that all this happens in a split second. What's equally amazing is that in the process of escaping the tiger, you use up the extra blood sugar and once you're safe, your blood sugar, your heartbeat, everything returns back to normal, so you're back to balance. Now here's where there's a small problem with the beautiful system in the modern day. You're not living 10,000 years ago anymore. While you don't meet any real tigers on a daily basis, your body still responds to each non-tiger stress in the same way that it deals with a tiger. Let that sink in. Each time you face stress, whether it's a deadline at office or a fight with your spouse or you're stuck in a traffic jam, your body thinks you're escaping a tiger. So it pulls out extra sugar from your liver and dumps it into your blood. Stay with me for a few seconds more and the entire picture will get clear for you in your head. So, flashback to your 10,000 year old self. Remember the way in which the extra sugar that was released in your blood got used up through physical activity when you ran and climbed the tree to escape the tiger. Now, can you see how this crucial part is missing from modern life? where you experience stress from modern tigers, like the missed deadline, the argument with the spouse, the endless traffic, but there is no physical activity to release the extra sugar. Each day, the liver dumps out extra sugar many times to help you handle stress, but since you couldn't use it up with the physical activity, when you finally do a lab test after a few weeks of such stress, why would your blood sugar not be high? That is why we ask all our diabetic patients to exercise. Even if you eat a really healthy diet, you avoid processed foods and sugar and carbohydrates, can you truly escape the stress in today's world? Physical activity is nature's way of helping our bodies remove the excess blood sugar and that is why it is so important for diabetics. I'll conclude this video with a small story of a young patient of mine in his early 30s who came to me with uncontrolled type 2 diabetes. He was extremely health conscious and ate a very healthy diet. He had been a sports person in college, but since starting his career, he simply wasn't able to find time for physical activity. He was a forex currency trader. So, you know, lakhs if not crores of rupees were made and lost by him in a day. Needless to say, it was a very high stress job. So here's what we tried as a solution. When I found out that he had been a boxer in college, I asked him if he could hang a boxing bag in his office. He was his own boss, so he did that. And every time he felt the stress, after that, he'd go and punch the bag to use up the extra sugar that had been dumped into his bloodstream thanks to his adrenal glands. He was able to literally burn through the extra sugar each time stress happened. And within a month, we saw his blood sugar numbers improve. Obviously, all of us can't uh, you know, punch boxing bags, but we can go for a daily walk to spend the excess sugar in our blood that has been generated from all the stress on that day. No wonder studies show that 45 minutes of exercise six times a week, even a walk, is a potent way to reduce uh, insulin resistance and blood sugar. So use this simple tip, share it with others whom you think it will be useful to, and we wish you all vibrant health and well-being.